Woodchucks by Maxine Cuman. Gassing the woodchucks didn't turn out right. The knockout bomb from the feed and grain exchange was featured as merciful, quick at the bone, and the case we had against them was airtight. Both exits shoehorned shut with pudding stone, but then they had a sub-sub basement out of range. Next morning, they turned up again, no worse for the cyanide than we for our cigarettes and state store scotch. All of us to, uh, up to scratch. They brought down the marigolds, as a matter of course, and they took over the vegetable patch, nipping the broccoli shoots, beheading the carrots. The food from our mouths, I said, righteously thrilled, to the feel of the twenty-two bu- the bullets, neat noses. I, a lapsed pacifist, fallen from grace, puffed with Darwinian pieties for killing, now drew a bead on the littlest woodchuck's face. He died down in the overbearing roses. Ten minutes later, I dropped the mother. She flip-flopped in the air and fell, her needle teeth still hooked on a leaf of baby Swiss shard.